hi my name is Suzanne and today I thought I'd talk to you about GAD and what is it? So for those of you who don't know me my name is Suzanne and I help professionals overcome anxiety, procrastination and self-sabotage without medication or months of therapy and today GAD what is it? Well it stands for generalized anxiety disorder and it's when you are worrying about a wide range of things so not just the specific event or person or object a phobia um, it is a broad range of things so it could be that you worry about your health so you might get a pain for instance and before you know it you're thinking the worst and you're on Google trying to find out if you've got an incurable disease or you're thinking that you're going to die or something horrible is going to happen or it might be your finances you're worrying excessively that you're going to get into trouble with the IRD or tax department you know something horrible is going to happen or it might be about your friends and family or performance related with your career your study you know so it could be a wide range of things so it's not it's not just one thing or an object or a person it's generalized across your your life and how do we know it's GAD and just not normal anxiety which everyone has well if you're having symptoms and you've had these symptoms for over you know getting close to six months or over and you and things are getting worse and not getting better then you know that it's abnormal anxiety and so that can be a very debilitation you can have symptoms of you know um, lack of concentration focus irritability you know lack of sleep disturbances with your your um, you know you might feel nausea or have problems eating and sleeping you know lots of different symptoms arise over that time where you're just excessively worrying across the wide range of things within your life so not very nice and uh, and you're constantly on edge so it's certainly not a very nice thing so what can we do to to help ourselves is that you know you can get to the root cause of why you've got this uh, which is how I can help you but how can you help yourself you know just from today is that you can actually take really good care of yourself so you can ask yourself the question write it down in a journal or just on a piece of paper are these fears real you know what is what am I worrying about and why am I worrying about them are the things that I'm worried about true so getting clarity and the other things you can do is obviously diet you can um, eat a really good healthy diet on processed foods and stay away from things like alcohol and caffeine so you know people drink a lot of um, fizzy drinks those sort of things stay away from those sort of things that are, have got lots of different chemicals in it that can trigger um, you know jittery feeling within you and make you feel anxious the same symptoms of anxiety and also regular exercise so you can just even walking is really good for you or cycling or whatever you choose so you may do yoga which in turn helps breathing and really relaxes you too so those are simple things keeping yourself hydrated and positive affirmations meditation can also help so that is as putting positive suggestions into your mind so even in very simple terms by saying to yourself in your head or even writing it down I am safe I am calm I am healthy you know just bringing yourself back to the present moment can also help so if you want to get to the root cause though of what could be triggering your GAD then please feel free to either DM me or reach out to me I'd love to help you with that and uh, and certainly it's, it can be easier than you think to, to get things back into control. So I'd love to help you. So please reach out, contact me anytime and I look forward to speaking with you soon.